Hi, I'm Bill Dorfman, founder of Discus Dental. For years, we've focused on providing you the absolute best in tooth whitening technology. That's how we became America's number one tooth whitening company. Today, we're proud to bring you Zoom Advanced Power. It's the fastest, most effective whitening system ever. Zoom Advanced Power is a complete system that gives your patients immediate results and ensures lasting effects long after the whitening treatment. The Zoom Advanced Power Lamp was specifically engineered to activate Zoom's Advanced Formula Whitening Gel for superior whitening results. Simply stated, Zoom Advanced Power is better than ever. 50% of patients whiten to B1 or better in just three short 15-minute sessions. Section 1, Introduction. This video is designed to provide comprehensive instruction on the Zoom chairside system for all staff involved with the treatment, either as the operator or support. Please review the video in its entirety and complete the corresponding documents in order to complete your Zoom chairside training certification. Here is what you will learn in this video. Section 1, Introduction. Section 2, The Included Training Materials. Section 3, Qualifying Candidates. Section 4, Patient Prep. Section 5, Isolation. Section 6, Gel Prep and Application. Section 7, Begin the Whitening Process. Section 8, End Cycle. Section 9, Isolation Removal and Post-Treatment. Section 10, Cleaning and Storage. Section 11, Troubleshooting. Please have the video available during your scheduled training session for referral. It can be used as a resource once your office begins the Zoom chairside treatments. Section 2, Included Training Materials. Your Zoom lamp will arrive partially assembled. Remove the contents for assembly. The bag of parts is in the box. Attach the casters to the feet of the lamp base. Place the base upright on the floor and lock the casters. Place the lamp stand into the lamp base by aligning the pin in the stand with the slot in the base and pushing the stand securely into place. Remove the bolt and washers from the parts bag, then remove the plastic cover from the end of the bolt. Reaching under the lamp base, screw the bolt into the bottom of the base, securing it to the lamp stand. To attach the lamp head, loosen the knobs by the socket at the end of the boom by four or five turns. Gently but firmly push the lamp head into the socket and tighten the knobs to secure. Place the lamp boom onto the lamp stand by aligning the hole at the base of the boom joint with the stand joint. Remove the screw and Allen wrench from the bag of parts. Insert the screw into the boom stand joint and tighten using the wrench provided. Once the lamp is assembled, secure the electrical connections at the boom stand joint and the lamp head. Your zoom lamp is now fully assembled and ready for use. Review the contents of your Zoom kit to familiarize yourself with the components and confirm it is complete. The Zoom gel is packaged separately for refrigeration. The Zoom procedure kit can be purchased in combination with Day White, Night White, or Night White Turbo take-home. Three pairs of eyewear are included with the purchase of each Zoom lamp. Please verify the number of participants in your training so that the proper number of protective eyewear can be made available. Eyewear supplied for use with lasers or other dental lights cannot be substituted. Zoom 2 retractors are needed for use with the Zoom Advanced Power Lamp. The retractors are considered disposable. They are available in bags of six in either assorted, small, medium, or large. The medium retractor will fit most patients. In addition to the materials provided, a basic tray setup and dappen dish or mixing pad will be needed for this treatment. Complete air and water setup is necessary. Surgical suction is recommended over high volume as not to dislodge the isolation materials. 
The surgical suction is used strictly for gel removal to prevent any contamination of the bleaching gel onto the soft tissue. Section 3. Qualifying Candidates Now you're ready to begin the Zoom whitening treatment. First, we need to determine the best candidates for Zoom chair-side whitening. As with our other whitening products, this treatment is not recommended for pregnant women or nursing mothers. We also recommend that patients be at least 13 years of age. Note the drug interaction card provided in your Zoom 2 kit. Patients taking photoreactive drugs should either be disqualified from the Zoom chairside whitening treatment or qualified by their physician. Please refer to the procedure guide for additional contraindications. To best judge the starting shade of a patient's teeth, we recommend that your shade guide be changed from the standard hue order to its value order, lightest to darkest. If you use another type of shade guide, please contact the manufacturer for their value listing. Maintain a bleaching shade guide set in value order in your office for reference. Section 4. Prep. Impressions should be taken at the consultation appointment. It is recommended that the custom whitening trays be ready at the end of the Zoom appointment. Preferably, the enamel should be free of moderate to heavy plaque and calculus buildup. A cleaning or profi with flour pumice prior to whitening appointment is recommended. Patients that require root planing should wait two weeks before their whitening treatment. Document the starting shade in the patient's chart and if possible, photograph the patient's teeth with the proper shade tab in the photo for reference. As noted in our instructions, patients with yellow staining tend to whiten best. Patients with severe staining and banding will require additional follow-up take-home or further chair-side treatment to obtain satisfactory results. Section 5. Isolation. Place the Zoom protective eyewear on the patient. Note the adjustable arms for proper fit and comfort. Generously apply the protective lip balm SPF 30. As with all lotions, the material will absorb into the patient's tissue, providing a moisturizing, protective layer. Instruct the patient to rest their tongue behind the tongue cup and to lightly bite down. Isolate with the 2x2 gauze included in the Zoom kit. This gauze has been tested and is proven to provide superior protection with the Zoom lamp. Do not substitute your own gauze for this procedure. Place the first piece of gauze fold side down in the upper vestibule, followed by gauze placed fold side down in the lower vestibule. Now place two face bibs around the retractor flange. Retuck the gauze into the vestibule if necessary. Open the third 2x2 piece of gauze into a 2x4 piece. While holding the ends of the gauze, roll it lengthwise to resemble a cotton roll. Align the crease with the midline and place it in the upper vestibule. It should cover approximately first molar to first molar, number 3 to number 14. Take the fourth piece of 2x2 two two gauze and repeat this step for the lower vestibule, covering from approximately number 30 to number 19 in the lower arch. The fifth and sixth pieces of gauze will be placed in each cheek. Fully open the gauze and fold it into a triangle. Place the apex of the triangle into the posterior cheek and tuck the end into the flange of the cheek retractor. Remove the cap and attach the tip to the Liquidam syringe. Be sure the tip is inserted fully into the recessed area of the barrel and lock it into place. A complete isolation requires 60 to 80 percent of a single syringe. Do not apply Liquidam more than two millimeters thick or it may not cure completely. 
Begin by applying the dam along the gauze in the upper vestibule to form a seal. Apply to the full arch, or at minimum, a single quadrant for proper coverage, manipulating and extruding the material as you go. Make a second pass along the margin, scalloping the gingival margin to ensure full coverage. Be sure to cover all interproximal areas, sealing the liquid dam to the enamel. All dentin should be covered. Cure the application of Liquidam. Liquidam is a resin blend that can become warm. Therefore, use a sweeping motion when curing, moving the light back and forth across the arch for about 10 seconds. Do not leave the light in an individual area for more than two seconds. On the lower arch, first apply Liquidam, scalloping the teeth at the margin to allow gravity to pull the material down towards the gauze placed in the vestibule. Again, make a second pass, sealing the isolation materials. Cure the lower arch application in a sweeping motion for 10 seconds. Once complete, use the sweeping motion again on the upper arch for 5 seconds and move back to the lower arch for an additional 5 seconds. Use the tip of the syringe to press lightly on the application to ensure it is completely cured. The material should be solid and have no give. If necessary, cure the arch again for an additional five seconds. Check to ensure that all soft tissue is covered and that the gingiva cannot be seen through the liquidam. If necessary, add additional liquidam and cure. Use saliva ejection to remove any saliva pooling in the cavity. Open the final piece of gauze and place it between the teeth, over the retractor's tongue cup. Make a final check to ensure no tissue is left uncovered. Use the motto, No Pink, as a standard. Check the interproximal areas of the application, especially on your blind side. Check the entire oral cavity to ensure all tissue is covered. Apply additional gauze or Liquidam where necessary. Section 6 gel prep and application. Break open the end of the swab applicator at the line to release the solution into the tip. Apply one swab to the top and bottom arch. The solution does not need to dry. The whitening gel may be applied immediately. To enhance shelf life of the gel, the zoom whitening syringes must be refrigerated while stored. However, the gel must be returned to room temperature for use. Either remove the gel from the refrigerator the night before, allowing the gel to remain at room temperature for at least six hours, or place the syringe in a cup of hot tap water for 10 minutes and remove the syringe five minutes prior to use. Refer to the instruction manual for specific temperatures. Remove the cap by rotating a quarter turn to the right. Place the mixing tip at a quarter angle. Rotate left to lock in place. Do not apply Zoom Gel directly onto the teeth. Extrude the gel into a dappen dish or onto a mixing pad. Use the brush supplied in the kit to stir the gel and apply it to the teeth. Apply the gel to the facial area of all visible teeth, approximately one to two millimeters thick. Section seven, begin the whitening process. Activate the main power switch located on the side of the power supply module. The dash side of the button should be pressed for the unit to be in the on position. Adjust the back of the chair to a comfortable position, approximately reclined 30 degrees. This is the easiest position for lamp placement, but adjust appropriately for patient comfort. Attach the light guide to the lamp. The lamp will not turn on if the light guide is not in place. The display will read, Guide Status, Guide Attached, when the light guide is attached. And will then read, X of X Sessions, press Start. The number of sessions can vary based on the kit type. The light guide is designed to ensure proper distance to the light and maintain light exposure to the smile zone. Slide the lamp into place next to the patient. Position the lamp head to the patient's smile zone, aligning the slots on the light guide with the retractor. Place the end of the retractor into the slots located on either side of the light guide. 
Press the Start button on the display panel to turn on the light and activate the timer. It will begin the 15-minute countdown. It is normal for the light to flicker for the first few seconds. Be sure to check on the patient regularly during this period. If you plan to leave the room for an extended time, provide the patient with a means to contact you, such as a small bell. It is also helpful to have a paper and pencil available in case the patient needs a means of communication. Point out to the patient that the progress of each session will be tracked by four lights on the top of the lamp head. A light will appear for each 25% of the session. These lights are also helpful for checking on the patient's progress and time remaining. Section 8. End Cycle The lamp will beep once when three minutes are remaining and again three times on the final three seconds of the cycle with one long beep when the time reaches zero. The light will automatically turn off when the cycle is complete. Remove the light guide from the retractor. Gently pull the lamp away from the patient while maintaining the vertical position. Carefully remove the gel with suction and or wipe the surface of the enamel clean with damp gauze. Take care not to dislodge the isolation materials. Do not irrigate. The force of the water may pull the dam loose and saturate the isolation materials. Check the isolation materials to ensure they are intact and no pink is visible. If the patient notes sensitivity at the margin due to tissue oxidation, open the vitamin E oil and use the brush to apply the oil to the sensitive area. The vitamin E will help to soothe the tissue and act as a barrier against further gel contamination. The vitamin E oil may be applied to any tissue that has had contact with the whitening gel and may be sensitive or has turned white from the oxidation. Apply the starter swab to the top and bottom arches as before. Bleed the syringe to remove the oxygenated gel and ensure a fresh mix. Extrude the fresh gel into a Dappen dish and apply as before with the enclosed brush. Use horizontal movement to reposition the light. At the beginning of each session, note that the number of sessions remaining has been reduced. Attach the light guide to the retractor and press the start button to activate the timer. Repeat these steps for each session to complete the whitening procedure. Section 9. Isolation Removal and Post-Treatment Remove the light guide from the slots and gently pull the lamp from the patient. Slide the lamp out of the way. Suction or wipe the gel from the teeth. Use damp gauze to remove the residual gel. Use the cotton pliers to grasp the gauze isolation and gently pull. All of the isolation material should pull free from the mouth in one unit. The retractor should remain in place. If the gauze is excessively dry, moisten it lightly before removal. Completely rinse the teeth and irrigate the oral cavity. If liquidam remains interproximally, remove with floss. Lightly use air to remove remaining material. Now it is time to judge the initial whitening results. With the retractor still in place, use the shade guide to determine the after shade. Document in the patient's chart and with a photograph. Review the post-treatment care instructions with the patient and provide the card included in the kit for reference. Explain to the patient that the teeth are more susceptible to restaining over the next 24 to 48 hours. The teeth may continue to lighten during this period and the patient must be careful not to consume any staining foods or beverages. Syringe the satin finish potassium nitrate and sodium fluoride gel into the completed take-home trays and seat them on the patient. We recommend a minimum initial wear time of 10 to 15 minutes. A complete application requires approximately half of one syringe. If the trays are not ready, syringe the satin finish directly onto the teeth. Dispense the take-home whitening gel for maintenance care to the patient. 
The remaining satin finish gel or a desensitizing product such as Relief ACP can also be dispensed to the patient at this time. Section 10, Cleaning and Storage. Use any standard quaternary ammonium phenolic-based disinfectant or alcohol to wipe down your Zoom lamp. Do not spray disinfecting agents directly onto the unit. Do not use glutaraldehyde to clean your lamp. Such materials can damage the coating surface. When the lamp is off, prior to the next Zoom appointment, Check the glass in the aperture to ensure no residue from the cleaning fluid remains. Position the lamp comfortably for storage in your office. Section 11, Troubleshooting. The light will not turn on if the light guide is not in place. The display will continue to read, Attach Guide. Use of the light guide is mandatory to maintain proper distance to the light and maintain positioning at the smile zone. Always cure the liquid dam in a sweeping motion. If the light is held in one position too long, the material can heat up, causing discomfort to the patient. Curing in a sweeping motion allows for proper cooling of the material. Once the isolation is complete, Always check the margins and interproximal coverage of the Liquidam, especially on your blind side. Remember, no pink. Use the vitamin E oil to soothe any sensitive or blanched tissue from contact with the whitening gel. If the vitamin E is applied at the margin after the first session, place an additional application of oil between the second and third session to ensure the barrier remains intact. If there is a concern about excessive sensitivity and ibuprofen is needed, do not exceed 1200 milligrams within a 24-hour period. The smallest effective dose should be used. Consult a doctor for full prescribing information, warnings, and cautions. Stronger pain medication can be prescribed if needed. Post-procedure, the bleach trays can be used to deliver additional satin finish or relief ACP gel to the patient. The Zoom whitening gels are packaged separately from the treatment kits. To enhance shelf life, when stored, refrigerate the syringes. The gel must be returned to room temperature for use or it may be runny. This can be done by either leaving the syringe out overnight prior to the appointment or placing the syringe in a cup of hot tap water for 10 minutes. Remove the syringe from the water and wait an additional five minutes before use. Please check the Discus Dental website or contact your sales representative for additional copies of these and other reference materials and forms. Marketing. Now that you've completed this Zoom training, you're ready to let existing and new patients know they can have a brighter, whiter smile in less than an hour. For more information about marketing Zoom to current and potential patients, call your sales representative.